Things are heating up here in the nation's capital, and we're not just talking about Kathy Goche, people. We're talking about the action at the Tim Hortons Briar. BC's 2-2 two two record has them within striking range. Well, they've got a stretch of five coming up that will really test their playoff aspirations. What will Connor's team do next to stay in the hunt in Ottawa? Meantime, Jean-Michel Menard hasn't had the great start he'd hoped for, and his Quebec team has had to regroup and reload. Learning quickly, there's no days off in this great Briar field. Draw eight from the nation's capital. Next. It is Tuesday morning at TD Place as the Tim Hortons Briar continues. Our feature matchup this morning will be BC taking on Team Quebec. Last night on TSN across our feeds, must see TV. It was draw seven and a few of the heavyweights on the ice. Let's begin. Alberta taking on Manitoba. Last year it was Kevin Cooey missing the playoffs. He's not missing anything lately. Well, he's not. And for Alberta, they really built off their experience with those rocks. Mike McEwen struggled a little bit and that four really the Alberta rolling in that game over Manitoba with the win. Meantime, a battle of last year's gold medal game. Team Canada, Northern Ontario, and after giving up three in the first, Brad Jacobs responds in the second. This shows you where they're at. He could have hit for two, but makes this difficult shot for four. Look at the energy. I would say that intensity's back. Fear the beard. All right, standings, update time. So Northern Ontario, they were the best team in Calgary in Rob Robin play, and once again, they are rolling. The only undefeated team, Alberta 4-1. Ushu's three and one, Team Canada, Ontario, three and two records. We are glad you're watching our coverage on TSN. Come on inside the building, Brian Mudrick, joined by Kathy Goche. And when you talk about Jim Carter, here's a guy that has all the shots. He made a final just a few years ago. Last year, five and six in Calgary. What does Jim have to do? at this point of the week when it gets to be difficult? Well, he needs a couple of things. He needs some consistency. And the other thing Jim talked about is this directional brushing. It was not something they'd utilized a lot coming into this event, mostly because their provincial championship was played in a curling club where it's not as effective, I would say. But honest to goodness, this is something they need to figure out because look at the road ahead, Brian. It's going to be tough. You could argue some of the best teams in the field coming up next for him. Quebec this morning, then Team Canada, Alberta, Manitoba, and then Brad Gushu. So that will be tough. In the meantime, Jean-Michel Menard admitted before that the Briar began that since he won in 2006, really the game has changed. He admits they're basically now weekend curlers. They're here to have a great time, and they're basically playing against professionals. But... They call him Jim, and Jim can still make the big shot. Uh, Jean-Michel, he talks about the part-time curling, but they are so passionate about this sport. His team has left him in lots of trouble end after end, but these kinds of shots the other night showed us that he still has all the tools to win. Look at this run back. All three go. Yeah, Jim, great shot. He says it also feels almost like a hometown crowd. Only a 20-minute drive from his home to get to TD Place. Well, Gets, you know, he's just across the river. And this run back, he talked about having to make these to win. And he can certainly do that. So he has the shots. So does Jim Goddard. And as mentioned, Kathy Goche is heating up. The action's heating up. First rock coming up next from TD Place. We're probably, you know, definitely probably an underdog to some degree, but uh, that really doesn't matter to us. We just got to go out and uh, stay within our team armor, and uh, that's all we can control. We can't control what others do, and so we'll just make sure that we're ready to go. Our goal is to focus in and play good games, so we want to be able to do that in each and single game. Give our best. If we lose a tough game, try to put it aside, move to the next one. We just want to be proud with the way we played and uh, say that we did our best. 2016 Tim Hortons Briar is brought to you by Tim Hortons, official coffee of Curling Canada. The 2016 Tim Hortons Briar is brought to you by Ford of Canada, proud partner with Curling Canada for more than 20 years. By World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures and by sponge towels, paper towels. Nothing absorbs like it. It is back-to-back -back cooies for Manitoba. 
on sheet A. We'll watch that one closely. Sheet B, New Brunswick taking on Brad Gushu, Newfoundland, Labrador. Meantime, sheet C, it is PEI Adam Casey taking on the undefeated Brad Jacobs. And our feature matchup, sheet D, British Columbia and Quebec. Jean Michel Menard, the Briar champion from 2006. It's time to meet the teams. Brought to you by Home Hardware, homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice. Hi, my name is Jim Cotter, skip of Team BC. Our lead is Rick Swatsky, our second, Tyrell Griffith, our third, Ryan Coon, and we play out of the Kelowna and Vernon Curling Club. Hi, my name is Jean-Michel Menard, skip of Team Quebec. Playing lead, Philippe Menard. Second, Eric Sylvain. Third, Martin Kreit. And we curl off the Etchemin Curling Club in Levy. And there's a look at the two skips. Both gentlemen will try. Get some momentum going here as we push towards the weekend. BC throwing the Red Stones this morning. It'll be Team Quebec, the Yellow Stones. Jim Cotters squad winning the draw to the button before the game so to start things off it is Philippe. Quebec lead Philippe Minard. Well, look at those great numbers for Philippe he played perfect last night scored 100% on that draw so that's going to help Team Quebec to get set up what Post up. Clean. Rick Swatsky leads stones for Team BC. Clean. Clean. Well, one of the challenges for Jean-Michel Menard is this is now his fifth game, and he is 0-5 in terms of winning that last stone draw in the first end. And that really puts you behind the eight ball right away, Brian, because you're afraid to risk. We did see that it was Jean-Michel himself who threw that yep. draw to the button this morning. Ball bomb! Whoa! Up there! Up. Yep! Whoa! Go, Phil. Shot. Control. Well, for Jim, for sure, it is master that sweeping. It is not only about taking rocks further it is putting rocks in spots that sometimes yep. they can't chase what other teams are able to do it is something they're learning on the go they've dabbled in it a little bit but he has said they've realized here at the briar that they have to accelerate how quickly they utilize that and for team quebec we've talked about the great numbers for philippe and we've shown you some great shots that jean michel has made but it is a group effort on this team and it has been through the middle they have struggled leaving him big shots, but he cannot be expected to make them all the time. Keys to the game brought to you by World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. No. <laughs> you talk about the draw to the button, Kathy, for each team and how essential that hammer can be. How does it work? Do certain players have to throw a number of stones for that draw to the button before the contest? You do, and so when you look at the draw, when you receive it, you'll make those decisions. Every player must throw two and you can have your lead throw two in a row and then your second if you like or you can choose the games that you feel that having that last rock advantage will be the most important and typically the skip will throw on those and then in the rules now that they started last year is that the team once the first team throws the intern the other team must throw the out turn and they went to that system so that both sides of the ice are broken down in the pre-game throw because what happened before often is if the first team threw the intern the other team would throw that because they have watched where the broom was they have a really good read of you know where the pebble is broken down and then when you start the game you have one side that's much heavier than another so to balance that if one player is throwing the intern for the draw to the button then the next team will be throwing the out turn it's a good system Three. Green change. And this style of play really does suit Jim Cotter. He calls himself a traditionalist. 
likes to go to the conservative style. They do like rocks in play, but he does like to keep things relatively simple, especially early on. Can come down late, guys. Just clean it, clean. Throw tight. And it will be interesting to see what happens through the day, Brian, with this building. The ice looks fabulous this morning. It's cool in here, but when you and I were coming in this morning, it is a spring-like day here in Ottawa. <laughs> Saw the frost creeping in last night. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. You talk about the brushing too, Kathy. One of the challenges now is there's no more hair brooms out there in competition. Mandate of Curling Canada. And one of the great things that the hair brooms did do was remove that frost. It is the single best advantage, other than the directional sweeping, is that it did remove the frost. Synthetics really don't do much when there's frost. They essentially brush across the top of it without letting you get in between the pebble and remove it. And you see Ryan Kuhn there, he does have a hair brush and that's allowed. You can use it obviously to push out and use it as part of your delivery. You just can't use it to sweep. Go, 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 go. Hard swat. Keep it going, keep it going. Get her, get her, get her. a couple get more rotations, and Sweet. Rick Swatsky able to remove it. All right. Yeah, that we. It's been a story this week as well. We have seen so many blanks, and it has not been a situation of teams running rocks up and down the ice. It has been the ability of teams to throw really big weight, but the striking bands on these stones just make them so lively and a great example just there where you just brush by the stone but that contact is all you need they spin so well the grayish part that you saw in the middle. Same Those way. are the striking bands. Control. That's what we refer to. That's yeah. the area that is on the farthest outside of the stone Hard that slot. actually is the Hard only slot. part that makes contact Hard slot. with Hard. another rock when you hit. Hard. Hard. Hard slot. Okay. It's quiet, eh? Yeah, it's like bumper. Okay. Sorry, guys. It's a little quiet. Probably, <laughs> probably just bump. Yeah. Sharing information with Ryan so he understands why that rock moved as it did. Control there, just quiet, that's all. Yeah. It was easy to do on the first one there. That, I thought that's you threw that pretty good. I said clean, right? Like out of your hand, I said clean. Yeah. So. Yeah, railed no. pretty good. No. You need to walk out. Why? Right. Down to skip stones here in one, so Jean Chaminard has an opportunity to test out the outturn draw here to the button. And you watch his sliding broom as he comes out of the hack. He has always done the exact same thing. It goes up in the air as he throws it. All yours. <coughs> That's good. He won that briar in 2006 and says it. Still feels like yesterday. Can't believe where the time has gone now. Ten years ago. Chad Jam. I think I'm going to say that's a shoot out when I've been knocked out. Why? What do you call it? It's not spot that curls the ball against Jacobs. You go to the bar, it's going to be a shoot out. Yeah, it's going to be more towards the bar. It looks like we're leading our way to a blank. Very, very typical actually here this week at the Briar. Combination of a style of play like this, where teams are just that little bit apprehensive first thing in the morning and the big weight ability. Except for our feature game last night between Team Canada and Northern Ontario, that was an offensive showdown. It was three in the first for Team Canada. Brad Jacobs made that incredible shot that we showed you off the top of the show for four, seven points solid, after solid two yeah. ends. Yeah. They put on a great show. Yeah. Well, and that trend, so far 14 of 27 Long games big, this sure week have started with the blank, and I expect that if, in fact, the conditions do generate during the day where it gets warmer and it gets wetter outside, 
that we may see teams going after each other very hard very early while the ice is at its best and you can predict the outcome. Well, we talked about the draw for the button. So he's about 50-50 on a usual basis, but 0-5 as he comes into the beginning of this end this morning. And LSFE is last stone first end, if you're not familiar. Je pas freeze, eh? No, no, y'en avait ici. I can't get... freeze. I can't backing. I can't get freeze. The backing's okay, there. So just lining it up with that stone in the back so that it might be more difficult for Jim Cotter to remove without jamming on that yellow. Don't clean poor. Oh, I see Jim. Yeah, you gotta go. Race to it, Mark! Race to it! Final stone here in one from BC Skip, Jim Cotter, playing for the blank. And a little closer than they would have liked. Mark Van Klet kicks it away, so it just spins out in time. Close call here early on this morning at the Briar. It is time to get you up to date across these sheets of ice here at TD Place. Let's begin with Manitoba taking on the territories. Mike McEwen versus Jamie Cooey. And the final stone to come here from Mike. And he's got a quiet little tap back here and a chance to pick up two. Well, and more importantly, even then, the potential too is just that whole confidence coming off a game last night that they didn't feel like they had played that well, struggled a little bit in that loss to Kevin Cooey. I like your interview with uh, Johnny Mead at the fifth end break. He was very honest with you. Uh, John is very honest. He brings so much to that team. Thought they gambled a bit, and they just weren't ready. Meantime, another update. Newfoundland Labrador taking on Team New Brunswick. And there's Mike Kennedy. Great to see him back at the Briar. First time skipping at the Briar since 1996. He's a Canadian senior champ, a world senior champ as well. And he's played in some really good games, Kathy, so far. Well, he really has. This is a draw against two. He said he really felt that being at a world championship for seniors really gave him the confidence that he does belong in this field, that he's able to make these kinds of shots. And this is his go-to shot. Loves to draw. He's and very good at it. Yeah, big sweep there from Mark LeCocq, who was a former teammate of Russ Howard. They won a bronze medal many years ago for Team New Brunswick. So a wonderful advantage there, upgrade. Very nice draw. It is our feature matchup this morning. BC taking on Team Quebec. Jim Cotter, Team BC, a blank in that first end. So Jim, who's throwing the redstone, says Hammer, we're into. On that shot as you watch Jim try to sweep it out was the attempted come around to that back stone by Quebec, just grazing the front. Right, kind of like that. I guess you got to be careful with the Jims out here this morning because, yes, it's Jim Cotter versus Jean-Michel Menard, but his teammates... Call him Jim, Same. too. I think he can get away with a pound more, so. There we go a bit. It's a little less. Yeah. Line's good. good. Where is it? We're good. Clean it. Line's pretty good. Clean it. Yep, oh, yeah. might over curl. Where Come is on. it? Yep. 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 Yep, jump! Hard, 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 go, hard, go, hard, go, hard, go, hard, go, hard, go, hard, 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 hard. Right to it, right go to it, high. right go, to go, it. Go. Shot. That's a very nice oh, that's shot. Sweet. Rick, Rick Sawatsky, always a very strong Rick player. What's Rick's last name, Cash? Yeah, sweetie. Yeah, yeah, yo. Sawatsky. Jimiscus. They're smart out there. I see they just call him SWAT. Yeah. A little easier. Whoa! Whoa! Martin! Eric Sylvain, second stones for Team Quebec. Hi, Mark! Oh, shoot. Okay. okay. 
Well, his shoot was based on, he was hoping to sit right on the nose and not roll anywhere. But that roll away does allow an opportunity for BC. Hit roll big. I think he came out a little yeah, bit off so. there, Kathy, in his delivery. We like uh, roll a little bit, right? Control. So why we miss roll it as far over, just keeping it in, right? Control weight. How's that look? Looks good. If anything, be a little fresher here. Yeah. I still think I want to just throw just nice control, though. So the roll here is roll. really important. Please. Yeah. Yep. So yep. you don't group your stones and allow Hard. an opportunity Hard for the stick. triple. Hard. Go back. Hard to stick. Hard slide. Yeah. Ah. Okay. That's fine. Put doom. Just moved a little bit on Tyrell. And I think for Jim really wanted to make sure that Tyrell rolled far so there was no triple. Those are very, very flat stones. Hack! Whoa! Just want to let our viewers know this morning we're just having some video transmission issues but they are getting sorted out and they should be fixed up momentarily so please bear with us and we thank you yeah freeze the hair low yeah Like high 90s? I'm thinking three. I like three. Well, for Jim, Same probably not super that. happy about okay. playing way back in the house. An inch low, boys. And you might wonder why he's not hitting stones that are that far back. You really have such a little area to roll to if you do make the hit. That's why he's electing to play the freeze down to it. I think you're close, guys. Gotta go. And this is all about lining it up and so that there is no double for Quebec. So we'll want to be on the left side right of the it, rock. Line's good. Where is it? Right to it. Eight. Line's good. Ah, okay. And that was just over curling, which is why they stopped sweeping. Demi. Half rock. Demi. Demi. Right. Martin and Kret, third stones for Team Quebec. Yes! Yes! And if Martin wants you to sweep, you'll know. Gets them both. Nice. Oh, and avoids the jam. So Quebec lies two. That one hanging on back 12. Never any doubt when he's on the ice. We had a feature game, Kathy. Last night I had one of my friends emailing me in between commercial break going, well, I hear Quebec's on the ice tonight, and they, 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 were, on, they were on the TV. Back we have a lot of fun, good. though. That's the one thing I love about following Team Quebec each and every year. They have a great time Mine's on the good. ice. They're always competitive. It always he's seems that like Jean-Michel Menard, when he's here at the Briar, seems to have that record just Where lurking around the playoffs or in the playoffs. What? They do. They are also one of the few teams that you will see out there actually <laughs> laughing at a number of times, even when there's not good situations. Okay, okay. It is their passion for the game right. that Fine. comes through. <sighs> Go, Rick! Go, Rick! 
OK, c'est beau, ça. OK. Oui. C'est bon, oui. Jim Cotter will continue to try to utilize those stones to make a perfect freeze as a way of generating two. Could you choose Kathy too to go around that yellow guard up top? Obviously, Jim still has the four foot available for his final stone if needed. Sure, you could. The challenge with that is that if you happen to go back four foot and your opponent comes down and sits on top, you really are reducing the scoring area for yourself. And so for Jim Carter, very content to play out in the wings. He has that four foot area if he needs it. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay. Sweep, guys. Good toss. Really nice. Toss. Shot sweep, buddy. 06. Yep. Nice down. Go. Uh, You're going to be able to roll. I'm not caché. I'm not caché. Yeah, let's go, bud. Now, the first instinct was to go around that center slash corner guard, that yellow one that's tight to the house. Go around. Because they are yes, yes. currently yes, shot at the back. Let's yes, walk out. Okay. It's also a very tough pick. That's good. Easy line, easy. Easy to. Easy. Good way. Good Ryan's way, good. easy, good way. Sacker, Eric Premier, Eric Premier, Eric Premier. Hardwick, Hardwick. The T line. Okay. Hardwick. No, no, no. Hardwick. Go, 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 step by Eric. Go, 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 go. Good shot. Not bad. Good shot. Did not right, curl as that. much as Jean Michel was hoping. For three? High 90s, three. Okay. It was 1465. Okay. Sweep it for the button. Jim Cotter with that five and six record in Calgary last year and was so close just a few years ago in Kamloops the city where he was born when he was playing with John Morris and they made it all the way to the final also lost that Olympic curling trials final as well to Brad Jacobs that was with both of these men both Rick and Tyrell a part of that foursome easy curl Good. Keep. Back line. Oh, I think I'll be right. Shot. Not bad. Nice. Oh, sweet that. They just got to be careful about the double yes. jam. You ever kiss the yellow in the forefoot, come back on the yellow on the eight, and then the threes are available. Well, they're looking at playing back line just to get to the inside to tap that stone back. Even if it doesn't go any deeper than the eight foot, if he is able to tap it at an angle, he will roll his shooter underneath that guard. Up, up. No. Up, up. Yes, yes. 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 Phil yes! 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 big scrub to get it by their yellow stone just by right go, through go, go, little go, rub go, go, there. Go, go, go. Shot. So they are lying too, BC with one to come. They screamed that by that <laughs> tight card. <laughs> can you actually do that, Kathy? That's, yes, uh, well, Martin Craig can. Yeah, I'll tell you. okay. <laughs> you don't see that in the stats, but it's yeah! good effort.
know what's amazing, too? I never, ever remember at the end of the week, remember those guys having their voices actually lost. They still got it usually by the final draw, too, which Maybe is incredible. Maybe that's one of the things they practice outside. I suppose. <laughs> Great shot. So, final still now here in two from Jim Cotter. And a real good test now here of his draw weight. Wants to put it on that Tim Hortons pin. Right on the yep. tee, guys. Right on the tee. Go. All right, yep. drag it, guys. Take a right look. Right on the tee. Right on the tee. Yep. Right on the tee. We're good. We're good. Swatsky and Griffith guiding it in. And that is nice draw weight from Jim Cotter. One of the board for Team BC. You're watching the Tim Hortons Briar here on TSN. Kathy, we know the ice is always changing as the week progresses, but it appears early on both skips on point. Well, and not only that, what a confidence maker. We've talked about how many great shots Jean-Michel Manal can make and has made here. A really tough get by the guard, roll under shot with that precision weight really puts the back against the wall for Jim Cotter because now not only does he need to make a draw for his single, he needs to find the button. Great team shot, good judging by Tyrell and Rick. Lovely throw by Jim. Back against the wall, rock on the lid, and a nice shot for his single. The key shots are brought to you by Scotty's. The tissue for any issue. Nice morning crowd here at TD Place as our coverage continues of the Tim Hortons Briar here on TSN. So one on the board for BC, Jim Cotter. So here in three, Quebec will love Hammer playing the Yellow Rocks. Yeah, toppy. Both of those shots at the end of last end make both teams feel very comfortable. For Quebec, will feel great that not only did they make a good shot, but that they forced their opponent. And for Jim Cotter, just gives them all a sense of confidence that they can trust what they're seeing in terms of the rock movement this morning and for Jim Cotter obviously having great control of draw weight <coughs> time for an update now New Brunswick taking on Newfoundland Labrador and you see it is Brad Gushu has the one Yellowstone in there and one more to come and a chance to Score a pair here. Well, it looks like the, the path to the shot stone belonging to New Brunswick is through a port, but the port is relatively open. There you are. Sticks it. Bangs it. Good for two. So, Brad Gushu, Newfoundland, Labrador, that 3 and 1 record. Leading 2 1 after two. Port. Can I wait? Port. Solid board. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa. Whoa. Clean. Whoa. Ryan, Looking oh, to roll Ryan. under their stone that Ryan. is tight to the house. Oh, oh, oh. Clean. Yep, 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 yep. Hard, right hard. Over, right over, right over. Good. Good. Nice. Very nice. Go, Rick. Oof. Only one undefeated team left, and we're going to show you an update from that team. It's Northern Ontario, 4-0, taking on PEI and Adam Casey. And I'm not really jealous of Adam's final stone here, Kathy. No, He's got some work gosh, to do. gosh, does he ever? I mean, he's facing three, but as we showed you, those two stones right on the lid, it leaves very little room for this draw. He has to get through a port. You got to go. Some nice momentum yeah, yesterday for PEI Adam Casey. Fine, is. Good. Fine's good. Fine's good. They pulled off a big win against Team Canada. Little rub there. And it will hang on for just a steal of one. So Northern nice Ontario, try. Brad Jacobs, a 3 0 lead after two. And man, it's been a business trip here for this team from Northern Ontario, the Olympic gold medalists. They're looking very strong. Quebec tried the run back on our sheet, replaced that guard, but did not successfully remove that stone that was in the forefoot, just replaced it with the guard. Two-thirds. Cleaned it. Mine's tight. Heavy. 
Line's really tight. Well, that over curl, they were hoping to guard the yellow stone to not allow the opportunity to repeat the run back. One other update for you as well. It was Jamie Cooey scoring two to tie things up with Manitoba and Mike McEwen. You're the skipper. Kate. Back eight. Back eight. Okay. Good weight. No, back eight. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. Yeah. Whoa. 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 On a call up, Jim. On a call up, wait. On a call up, wait. On a call back line. Okay. The hack. Just about by. Two thirds. Clean. Lots of room, guys. Lots of room. Needs Rick. to curl a bit. Yeah, go SWAT. It's getting Line's better. Good. Line's good. Yep, keep going. Keep going. Yep. Hard SWAT. Hard. Close it in. Yep. Hard SWAT. Yep. Hard. Go, 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 Hard, go, go, go. hard, hard. Good. Shot. Good Ryan Coon throws up the guard. It's the second Briar appearance here for Ryan. And obviously he's with some veterans who've been here before and Jim, Tyrell, and Rick. But sweep, it's always nice Good to have shot. that one major event under your belt to come back and know exactly what to expect this time around. Well, it is for sure. You know, so many people talked about all the experience that Mike McEwen had coming into this event oh, oh, because he's been oh, a top oh, oh, money oh, oh. winner for four of the last five years. He's oh, played in all the oh, major oh, events, oh, and go. he's been quoted as saying that he's never played in anything this big yeah, before, yeah, yeah, yeah. but the passion of the fans that are in the building and the numbers that are in the building are pretty overwhelming. You had a chance to interview Mike in a fifth end break. He just said it's a different vibe out there. Yeah, it is. It's a wonderful vibe. Something that once you come once, you want back very, very badly. Like a board? Yeah, okay. Yeah, this should be fairly quick here. Without Last Rock, wanting to remove yeah, that yeah. yellow stone belonging to Quebec. Good board. Clean. Line's good. Slot. Clean. Slot. Clean. Slot. Slot a little bit. Slot. Slot. Yep. 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 Good shot. Good spot. Good. Good shot. Good shot. Sweet. Sweet. Hack weight. Hack weight to the sun. Should mention, too, that Ryan does have some great national experience he won the 2000 world junior men's championship playing second for his brother brad that year did good way oh yep oh whoa you did no 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 Watch out. Hit it. Hard. Oh. A little hit and roll behind their Good. long guard. And I still get tricked sometimes with that Tim Hortons cup. There's Wait. the other red yes. stone up there as well. They do make it hard to see. The yellow stands out, but that red, we've seen yeah. flying bodies this week. Worry about over curl, right? I've seen two again. It happened last year. A couple of the guys actually kicking the stones when they're sweeping because, you know what, Poor you're so provision. focused and... Get yourself a double-double there you didn't expect. Just hot work. Thanks. Good for a way to see. 
Ouais, tu sais, un wave, ça peut comme. Ouais. Là, 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 un rond complet. Puis, je te collais, il aurait pu à faire. So Jim just trying to come down. Corner freeze on that stone. Three. Well, Kathy, for BC, no Briar win since way back in 2000 when Greg McCauley won. And if there's one guy that could do it, though, for that province out west, it's probably this guy, Jim Cotter. Very solid player for a very long time. Contributes a lot back into the sport. Line's good. Three for top four. Got to be full top four. Right here, guys. Got to go, guys. Got to go. Got to go. Got to go. Hard wait. Hard. Got to go for wait. Go, 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 go. Want to drag it there for Shotstone if they can, and it comes up a little bit short there. Top eight. Came off, I thought we were good. I thought we were pretty close there, eh? Yeah. <sighs> a little stickier through there? Yeah, I think so. In the fond, même si on touche pas au 4-8, tant qu'on bat la 5, right? In the fond, même on se retrouve ici, c'est bon. Très bon. So, drawing us with the house. On the other side, deep. And for Jean Michel Menard, he has proven in the past that he can score a lot of points. Look at the numbers when he has scored seven points a game. Well, he's lost the bronze game and he also won gold. And look at his numbers so far this year. These are points scored per game. He is the lowest in the field at 3.25. The lesson there is obviously you score more points, you win, but it's pretty hard to win, Brian, when you're only scoring three points a game. Back four. You need carry Price in net. I don't think you can use him in curling. Well, no, they front on yeah. those big pads. I don't think I think the Habs would love him too right now. Jean Michel, a Habs fan, actually used to be a Vancouver Canucks fan, and now a Montreal Canadiens supporter. That's good. No, no, no. Come. Now, goaltender Braden Holtby is having a season right now for the Capitals, and we got to see his sister just a few years ago compete at the Scotties, which is very cool. There's an opportunity missed. Can draw here, or we can play off our own. Yeah. What was your first thought? Could play like regular off here. My only worry is that. That is there. Like regular? You like regular weight? Yeah, you can hit a little thick, you can roll over too, right? So. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's fairly straight. How much can you see? I'm thinking of. I'm thinking it's, it's fairly easy straight. Shot. Don't forget in that Tim Hortons cup, there is a guard. You guys like this? We'll take a look from the hack. Needs to hit about a third. One, Jimmy, whichever one you kind of like. A lot of good can come from both. Yeah. This one here is pretty good. Moat rag. Hit. Ty, you gotta go hard, Ty. Go, go Ty, hard. go! Hard, yes! Ty! Hard! Come across, tap that Shot yellow. Jimmy. And look at that, BC now. Shot. Line two without hammer here in three. Shot. Shot. Good sweep, boys. Just, just, it just died, like as soon as it got yeah, the ice, it came in there. Came a very nice shot, go, they didn't Ty, hear anything, go. so Ty stops oh, for yes! a second and hard. almost lost it. It curled that little bit more. Shot, Jimmy. Yeah. Nicely thrown.
Well, they've suggested to him he throws the same I'm weight. Good. Good way. Obviously charting out the Watch ice, feeling feet. that this I'm path good. might be that little bit slower for the route Watch to get to feet. the center. That's good. Well, we saw in that last end, Jim Cotter had to make Watch a nice draw feet. to the button. And now, over Watch to you, Jean-Michel Menard. Pretty similar situation, has to draw against two, needs the button again, and he does it as well. The skips are on point here at TD Place this morning in a 1-1 tie. 44 curlers started the week with a chance to drive away in an all-new 2016 EcoBoost Ford Edge Sport in the annual Ford Hot Shots competition. That number cut down to just two. The final, Manitoba's Denny Newfield against Newfoundland Labrador's Brad Gushu. And Gushu had a battle on his hands, but came up big when it counted most, including a big five on the hit and roll. The skip would come out on top. Brad Gushu wins the Ford Hot Shots and a two-year lease on a 2016 Ford Edge Sport. Welcome back inside TD Place. And both of our feature skips putting on some hot shots as well. A couple of great draws in back-to-back -back ends to pick up singles. So here in four, it is BC Jim Cotter throwing the red stones with hammer. Let's go, Phil. Um. Center guard thrown by Quebec. That red stone just buried there by Rick Sawatsky for BC. Jean-Michel looked at the run back for a second, but decided instead to play the come around with Philippe. Just the line. Yep. Yep. No, 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 no. We're good. We're good. Good way. We're good. We're good. We're good. Hello. 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 This will run a little better. It's good. Top 12. Should be all there. Let it work. Line's good. Heavy clean. Our room. Just top 12. Tie your room. in. Room. Tie your in. Wait only. Wait only. Line's really good. Freeze it. Yep. Go, 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 go. Yep, 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 yep. There. Carve it in there. Good. Good work. Shot. Shot. Jack Wade. Jack Wade, you need. Act, act, on the pass to sort the rouge. Yeah. Ouais. Ça prend bump, là. Ouais. Bump first, c'est bon. Yep. Let's go. Oh, it's not energetic, Phil. Edek being asked to throw a bumper weight, get to the Ballack. side yep. of that red stone. It oh. will remove the shot stone. Oh. Still leaving that one red Cartier. there. Cartier. Cartier. We'll change position. Roll it, Mark. Go, Phil. Shot. <laughs> oh, I like the hit and roll big. Hit and roll a bit. Kind of okay. weight do you like? I like hit and rolling big, but and hit and roll yeah. is fine. Bumper? Bump? Okay. Yeah, bump's good. That's good. back au centre. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Easy, Ricky. So the run back double just hit the yellow on the outside. 
Drive it back on an angle to the first red to go across to get the second red. Easy. Yeah. Eric Sylvain. Wow. Yeah. 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 Making moves out here. One, get them both. Oh, yeah, he move, hits the red. Go, go, Can he move go, go, it all go, the way out? Go, go, get, go, 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 go. That is a great shot from the Quebec second, Eric Sylvain. Great shot, great sweeping by Jean-Michel when he made the connection off the first Boy, stone and made contact with both yellow. Watch as it hits. So he gets that, that, and then it, because it hit that top yellow first, so much of the weight came off. For Russ and Cheryl sitting back in the room, that's what's in known turn. as sweeping as a skill. Yeah. What's that? In yes. turn or out turn? Yeah, in turn. Hey. What? Oh, please! What? 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 Ah. Oh, oh, oh. Was hoping to catch that outside yellow one thin first to make the double. Gets only one. Wait. Bum. Wait. Let's go, Mark. Good shot. And avoids the jam, so Quebec lies two, top 12. Just control. Trying to roll behind that biter belonging to Quebec because they know if Quebec runs it back, their shooter will be outside the rings. Roll. Clean. Close. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep. Clean. Yep. Yep. Hard what? Hard, Rick. Hard what? Roll it, Ty. Roll it. Roll it. Hard, Ty. Hard, yep, hard, yep, hard, yep, hard, hard. Yep, yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. 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 Well, these stones are moving up the house, and if Quebec is not able to make a big roll on this shot, the double will be there for BC. There's your big roll. Very nice. The hit and roll on that. Like that? Freeze is pretty good, yeah. Freeze is not bad. Yeah, here. Same as what he's kind of been throwing. Five hey, to ten, yeah. Five yeah. to ten. Do Yeah. For Team Quebec, really wanting to keep some separation between those stones to force Jim Cotter. Meantime, update time. New Brunswick, Newfoundland, Labrador. And a tough end for Mike Kennedy and his team. Mark Lecoq had a hog line violation, actually his second of this year's Tim Horton's Briar. So putting him in a little bit of a tough spot here. And it's been all Brad Gushu really since in the end, Kathy. You know, those things are really tough and lots of discussion about the lights and when they come on and what they're doing that I think is causing a little bit of discomfort for the curlers. It's not a, a clear signal and sometimes they're going green longer. Uh, one of the rocks on that sheet is apparently not flashing either red or green and so that's those kinds of things that start to play in your head as a thrower rather than just you know the right weight to the right target so now with his final stone here mike kennedy you see the broom down from lecoq by that yellow stone trying to play the angle run back and remove some 
yellow granite. This has got to curl up, though. Needs to curl up a lot. And they'll move the yellows around, and actually, it's just one. So a steal of one yeah. for Newfoundland Labrador, and a two-point advantage as Mike Kennedy will try battle back over on sheet B. And with BC trying to play the freeze, there is an opportunity to pick this stone out. Oh! Oh! Shot. Ben ouais, moi je voyais mal parce que. On pas gagné hors nose. Je suis juste un truc. Je pensais qu'on courbait trop là. Ouais, c'est ça, je suis calé pour essayer. Elle a bien fait ça. So this one uh, might not quite carry as well. We're like center line-ish. Okay. Like, so it'll finish harder. Okay. Ryan, you gonna run here. it up a little bit? Yeah, I think so, a little bit. Okay. Three. Finish nice. Three? Yeah. Talking about the path that the stone will take, it's a little bit further over. Kathy, Jim has so much respect from all the players here. He's yes. certainly one of the nice guys out here. And might be dad of the year, too, because he recently won provincial mixed doubles with his daughter, Jay Lynn, and she just had a birthday turning 16. So what a thrill, Jim. Gets to go to nationals with his daughter in Saskatoon big. after the Briar. So congratulations no, no, no. to them both. I talked to him about that and his win with Jalen. He was thought it was a very emotional moment for him. Okay. Too much ice. Just a tiny bit too much ice. Wade's probably wow. Wade was great. Wade was pretty yeah. good. And the cool thing now is that back home, okay. Jalen can watch Dad here at the Briar and make some notes and be like. Dad, what were you so, thinking there? <laughs> Draw five. That any particular <laughs> reason you took too much ice? <laughs> That's great. On parle de slow. Parle de slow. Now both teams doing a good job this morning of forcing each other to have to take just a single. And that feeds back into our story of why there has been so many low scoring no, no. ends. Yep! Feel! Yep! Feel! Oh. Hard feel! Yeah. Clean, clean feel, clean feel. And draw. bangs it right in the nose. So once again, it'll be a draw against a few for Jim Cotter. Same way, Jimmy. Yeah. Three? Yeah, same yeah. way. Three guys. So far the skips have been perfect. And Jim Cotter needs another good draw here. Final stone in four. And they've been going the entire time. Swatsky, Griffith. Good sweet. And it looks to be just fine once sweet. again for Jim Cotter. Top button, single on the board. And BC leads now 2-1. I'm certainly feeling ahead of where we were last year. You know, that being said, I think everyone's a year better again this year so it's going to take as much if not more than last year to work our way into the final weekend but you know we're in a good spot we've grown a lot that second year you know curling there's you know so many little things that uh, go unnoticed that are extremely important we've kind of ironed those things out and uh, you know we've worked real hard so yeah we're ready to go It'll be John Morris, Pat Simmons taking on BC. Johnny Moe, of course, played a couple years with Jim Cotter. That's on TSN 1 and 4 this afternoon. 
And on TSN 3, Newfoundland Labrador taking on Team Alberta. Two great matchups you can choose today at 2.30 p.m. Eastern time across our TSN feeds. I'll miss you. Oh, we'll be in the building. I don't miss you that much. Okay, <laughs> you can come up and say hi. And champions do live here on TSN. We'll crown a champion on Sunday as we get closer to championship weekend. Really the toughest stretch I find of round robin play begins here on Tuesday. It'll wrap up with the final draw on Friday morning here at CD Place. Back to our future matchup between BC and Quebec. And they've been trading singles. So over to you, Jean-Michel Menard, throwing the Yellowstones. It is the Quebec skip with Hammer here at five. And it is really a tough day. You know, you look forward to coming so much from the day that you win your provincial championship. And all of a sudden you find yourself on Tuesday. And even though you feel like you've just started, you realize that you're halfway through. And all of a sudden, all of those wins and losses just become so critical. Back line, bon. Moi, je pense qu'il y a masse pour back, back eight. Back eight. Sure. What? Ça glisse bien, ce spot-là. Well, they considered notionally coming down to that redstone belonging to BC and tapping it back or out, but instead going back in and staying aggressive. Yep. Just la ligne. Oh. En masse, en masse, en masse. Yep. Hello. Yep. Hello. Yep. Hard line. Oh. Yep. Just. On va le faire. Pas méchant, pas méchant. Le chat, Phil. C'est bon, Phil. C'est bon, ça. C'est bon, elle a le curly, hein? Ouais. Tu sais que... Tu sais que board? Yep, pump's good. Even... It's not bad. Board. No more than board, though. If anything, just, down a just bit. Board. Yep. The reason for that is that's a great angle. So from the hack, Tyrell not able to see a ton of that stone and wanting to really get the finish. That's why they're asking for board or even just a little bit less. Board, clean. Yep. Yep. Hard. 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 Swat. Just swat. Hard. Hard. And Swatsky going to try hold the line, but they can't save that stone as it wrecks on the guard. Moved. Okay. That's fine. And Jim sweeping the side that he did yeah. just to try to keep right. that stone uh, into play in case it's something that he needs to come off of later on in the end. No! Just no! Ah! Martin! Martin! Clean it! Clean it! That's good! That's good! Go. Collie the sailing! I don't need to be in the sailing! Just collie the sailing! Easy! Just collie the sailing! Easy! 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 That or play that? You play the run, yeah. Hair high. I like saving that. I yeah. That's... Or hair low. I think we got to run it right now. You can get them yeah. all. Yeah. Out turn. Yeah. This is as much about saving their own stone in the house to run back later or to utilize later as it is to yep. get rid of that long guard whoa, whoa, whoa. and try to run it back yep. and make the double. Yep. Tyrell runs it back, catches yellow, yellow, gets them all moving. Good shot. That's very nice. As soon as you're running a stone that's 10 feet in front of the house, so many things can happen. It takes the opposite turn. Well, through, uh, through more than regular, I'd probably kill a three. Je pense yeah. que c'est Je pense que c'est le call pareil. Hack. Cool, Rick. I think Quebec does oh, believe that they are shot. 
This is more about leaving a stone that can be raised. Gosse de plus, je pense. Stop de plus. Plus. Act. Good work! Yeah! Yeah, yeah! Aye! Aye! Good work! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. 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 Bill! Bill! Whoa! Go, Bill! Whoa! Oh, oh. Whoa! Whoa! Good job! Whoa. Very nice. That rolls not only behind the guard, but behind the cup oh, yeah. and the guard. <laughs> <laughs> double blocking. <laughs> double, double. Well, there you go. Swat! Go, Swat! Go, 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 go! Shot. Wow. Yellows move again. And Kathy, just an example, another one of those games, there's rocks in play. It's not yes. like they're not putting them up there. They've had the corners, it's just the runbacks are being made, and it's a low-scoring affair. There's been some lovely shots made, not only those kind, but when you forced your opponent, the only thing that they had the chance for is one. As we look at hammer efficiency at the end of this week, we will see it be much lower, I think, than we have in the past, meaning that teams that are with that last Boy. rock advantage are really struggling good, to score too because the other yep. team is really making a lot of really good yep. shots. Yes! Hard! Hard! Gotta go! Go, 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 go! go. go Just go, 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 by that go, red go, guard. Go, 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 Brushes and uh, just shy, I think, of a biter. C'est pas le même track, là, t'es yeah. même pas sorti dans le... dans le 8. Oh, man. Four. Decent amount less than last time. Yeah, your last one without any sweeping was probably going to be here. It came down at the house. Let's go 10, I think 10 would be pretty It cool. does yeah. not yeah. appear yeah. as though that stone is biting the top four of the paint. Just for weight! Mine's perfect. Lots of room! Mine's great. Inside tight, you can. Mine's really good. Mine's good. Top four. Top four, yeah! Top four. Hard, guys. Hard! Hard! Hard, guys! You go in. Oh. Hard, 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 hard. Go, 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 Keep go, 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 Right, 15 11 between the hog lines on that stone so it's not that it's getting heavier but as it comes off watch towards the center as it dies here's where all the finishes playing the draw around the stagger Easy, good wave! Make it, Bob on! What? Easy! That's good! That's good! Down, Phil! Go, Phil! Go! Hard, Phil! Hard, Phil! Another big scrub Listen, from Team Listen, Quebec, and they just pulled in there for shot stone. Well, they are going to be exhausted from those last two back-to-back. -back. This is where not having played a lot this year really starts to eat up on you. It's fifth draw for this particular team. Back-to-back -back poundings from the time they let it go to the time it stopped. Uh, you want more now? Even if we roll out, I guess. I don't control at most. Okay. What are you throwing? The control. Thinking less. Looks like a lot of ice for control. It's okay if we roll out. We don't really want to sit right there. No, no, I, uh, I know. Can I wait? I'll be like control max. Hit. 
Okay, no, that's fine. If we roll out, it's okay. Don't really want to sit there and leave the double back and be buried there. Update time. Wow, a lot of rocks in play yeah. over on sheet A between Manitoba and the Northwest Territories. Looks like Mike McEwen is lying two, maybe three. Obviously, he is shot stone there right on the button. And one still to come from the Control. Northwest Territories. And skip Jamie Cooey, who's looking for Whoa. win number Whoa. one. Slot. You can see those two behind the tee line clearly out count that yellow one. It's hard to tell out of those top two, but for Jamie, regardless, needs to get to the tee of the Tim, and I think she has to push it back a bit, Brian, to get shot stone. Close. Whoa. We see Jim hit and roll out on our feature sheet. Brad Trikarski just guiding the stone in. Little tap, move it far enough. That's a nice shot from Jamie Cooey, who gave his brother a run yesterday. Took he an sure extra did. hand, but. So a 3 3 tie after five as Jamie Cooey looking for win number one here in Ottawa. Mine's good. Up, up. Uh, Jean-Michel will good. have seen what Mount Pays Stone did. Oh, 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 Had good line, trying oh, to take it deeper oh, though. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Kick, 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 kick. Serious, man. Brian Kuhn now brushed down. And it slides too far right through the paint. Think if we get more of the button this side. Three with some chop. Okay. I kind of, yeah, I kind of like leaving him the intern again, eh? Yeah, because if we get to the full button, he can't throw the end. Yeah. Top, top button. Hit. Do Ryan's just come down, or? Ryan was just soft. He was just soft, okay. yeah. So this is just normal. Three with some chop would be great. Yeah. Funny, Jim's still one of the few guys that has that little yeah, pull back, back rock right off the Easy. ice and Just for the old classic Mine's delivery. Good. Good. Classic backswing. Whoa! Lots of room. Where? Back heavy, four. heavy. Whoa, then, whoa, right heavy. off, right off. Let it die. Should come down in here. No, let it die, let it die. Tons the of The turn draw Tons here. here. With Cotter's Just final stone here in five. He's got one hard stolen hard. point hard. right hard. now, hard. looking hard. to get a second one in there. So once again, it'll come down to a nice shot. From Jean-Michel Menard to try pick up his I'm single. Taking a couple inches less ice too. Oh. Mid 90s. Oh, is that okay? Just heavy. It's heavy. Okay. Right. From Martin, you got to Martin. You tire his hand right. That's flat, man. He's back one. Yeah. Go. Playing easy weight. They've traded yeah. singles so far. Five yeah. of stone here in five oh. for the oh, 2006 oh. Briar champ, Jean Michel Menard. King! Yeah. Oh, oh. 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 Yeah. Just clean field step, please. Just a king. Clean, usually a good sign. Yeah. Needs to hold on to that shooter. Yeah. And lovely. So we're still waiting for one of these skips to break things open. It's been all singles so far in a 2-2 tie here at TD Place. Briar Bear is in the house. A lot of action here at TD Place this morning. The kids are in the crowd cheering things on. And we got the final five to come here next on TSM. 
2016 Tim Hortons Briar is brought to you by Tim Hortons, official coffee of Curling Canada. Well, scoring points has been a story at this year's Briar. Lots of blanks, lots of singles, not a lot of hammer efficiency for scoring, too. One of those men with only one point on the board so far is Jim Potter, and he is with Brian. Jim, singles on the board so far from both teams and a lot of great draws from you and Jean-Michel Menard. Is it just patience in a game like this and wait for your opportunity to maybe generate that too? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, JM, they're obviously a great team and uh, you just got to be patient and wait for our chances and hopefully we get one, put two on the board. The ice is tricky at times. How much have you seen the impact in the brushing? Obviously no hair out there now and the synthetics are great as well and the directional sweeping. Have you noticed a big difference at this year's Briar? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think there's a bigger difference on arena ice for sure. There has been uh, yeah, a major difference and uh, so we're adapting to it a little bit more and more every game and uh, seems to be working out all right. This team back here for the second time, how are you guys enjoying the experience? You look around and even for morning draw, really great crowd. Yeah, it's been uh, great crowds. The ice is great and uh, yeah, getting the Briar never gets old so it's, uh, it's always good to be back and uh, yeah, we'll keep moving forward. Good luck in the final five. Thanks, Brian. Right, good luck to Jim Potter in the final five, but let's take a look at the numbers after the first five, and they're brought to you by Ford of Canada, proud partner of Curling Canada for over 20 years. Well, the score is even, and as are the numbers almost across the board, the biggest difference is that Martin Cret, the third for Quebec, at 93%, Ryan Kuhn at 80 Maybe that will help Quebec. And for a Quebec team, the joie de vivre, very evident. This is a team that is loose all the time, loves this game. But Pierre will be trying to talk to them about how do you score two. That's the key moving forward for the final five. The 2016 Tim Hortons Briar is brought to you by World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures by Home Hardware. Homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice. And by Ford of Canada, proud partner with Curling Canada for more than 20 years. Best politician on Team Gojo. I think it would have to be me. Oh, that's a tough call. I would. Oh, Carter Rycroft. Easy question. Definitely not Fry. I think Robbie's probably got the, the personality to be a politician, but I think to get him to to sit down and comb through, uh, comb through a budget would greatly exceed his uh, attention capacity. I would pay to sit in the cabinet meeting for him, uh, for him to lead the way, for sure. Oh, Richard Hart, by none. Bar none. Cannot win an argument against Richard Hart. Jonathan Mead. No doubt. <laughs> John would be Minister of the Great. Uh, if Donald Trump can have the success he's having in the States, I would say Colton Flash would be uh, a great Prime Minister for Canada. I would say myself, because I'm a public servant, so I, I know a bit of the procedure and how it works. Benny thinks he knows everything, so you know he'd definitely be up there, but probably Mark, he's the kind of more politically correct, uh, can, a little, little more smoother on the edges. Man, I don't know, I don't even know what the ministers are. Come on. <laughs> I don't know, out of all those, I kind of like the Johnny Mead Minister of the Grape. I'm assuming that's red wine, so I would vote for that, for sure. Well, we know in this booth, it's not going to be you, not ever. Really? <laughs> not. Well, you're the Minister of Disaster, no? <laughs> oh, that's great. I love Brad Jacobs. Yeah. Not Fry. Yeah. Who will it be? I kind of like Ben Hebert, Bolton Flash. Yeah, be a pretty I... good campaign, those two guys going head to head. Well, thankfully, our country is in better shape <laughs> than drawing from our field here. No disrespect to all these wonderful men. It is great to be here in the nation's capital, though, for the Tim Hortons Briar. Fourth time that Ottawa's hosted the National Men's Curling Championship in a 2-2 game in our feature matchup between BC and Quebec. So they've been trading the singles. Jean-Michel Menard, that single in five. So once again, it is BC, Redstones, Jim Cotter with Hammer. Here in six, and you heard him there in that fifth end break in the interview. Just got to be patient, especially in a game like this. A lot of curling still to come, so wait for your spot and go for your big end. Well, and the risk of not doing that, Brian, is that you start to push a little bit harder and, and make some bad choices. 
And for Jim Cotter, even though the score is tied, he does have the last rock advantage. He does have hammer here in even ends. So no real need to risk. It is very much the team from Quebec that has to make a decision to push a little bit harder or to take some risk. Yeah. She's bound. Yep. Wow. Oh, in it. Yep. Oh. We have a pair of golf professionals on the ice today, both playing second for their respective teams. Good shot. Good shot. Come on, pas bon shot. Huh? You can play the run back and ride right through the shot. go around it. Yeah. Is that what you want? Go shooter answer. Huh? Yeah, it's like regular. Kind of way, like, you like regular? I like regular, yeah. Roll the shooter to the other side. Not get rid of one. Too, eh? Lie two is the okay, plan. Okay, half. I kind of like this way. You like the out? Yeah. Okay. It's probably easier to make it from the in, which is why Jim Cotter gave Tyrell that. But it really is about ensuring that your player makes the shot. Rock. Ryan! Ryan! Other gentleman involved in Hi, golf. Hard Ryan! Gotta go, gotta Hi. go, gotta Hi. go! Shooter. Shooter. Back one, Jimmy! Hard, Jimmy! Hard! I'm always sad when the briar comes to an end, but you also know that the master is straight around oh. the corner, so can't wait for that. One of my favorite trips ever. Bob Weeks had said to me before I went that I would be so surprised how even with the magnificent views that you can see on TV, you do not get a sense of the elevation. It is unbelievable. Did you compete? Yes, oh, yes, good. of course. Ah. Everybody that walks in gets a club. Hard. Really hard. Shot. Good away. Jim's pushing hard to try to find a way to score, too. Every time he's had hammer, he's not just eliminating stones, trying to freeze and get that one jam from Quebec that might lead to two. Clean. Clean. right now. I think you're okay, Swat. Back eight. Okay, clean. No, 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 no. Needs to curl. Needs to set, too. Trying. It's okay. He's trying. No, it's it still right bouncing. Now. Still bouncing. Okay. Yeah. All right. But then roll. Then. No, he's pas méchant. Yeah. Je pense le nez il met. Okay. Let's go. Good way! Whoa! Easy, easy. Bro! Let's push! Yep! 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 Hard! Yep! Hard, Bill! Okay. Martin Cret will hit it on the nose, so Quebec lies two here in six. Same way, just ties. Three, three, or five. Yeah, back four, wait. It's funny, Kathy, a lot of these ends so far in this game sort Move of have the foot. same feel. Foot, foot Very much. Clean! Clean! Again, Why Ryan we? Kuhn being back asked 12. to tap stones back. Weight's really coming Take down 12. in terms of shot selection. Clean. Back 12. To ensure that these rocks do stay around. Yep, 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 yep. It's really interesting, right. Brian, okay. when you take a look at these two teams, how they approach games and the kinds of shots that they choose to play, be that draws or hits. And so you have Jim Cotter, who very much likes the hit game. And look at his numbers. It has been his draws. He's been forced to play a fair number of and done really well. But what's most interesting to me is Jean-Michel Menard loves rocks and play. He says he loves draws. 
by far and away more draws thrown for Quebec, but he has thrown a disproportional number of hits. That speaks volume to some of the trouble that he's been in, but it's also forcing him out of his comfort zone. Clean it. The hair softer release. Where is it? Wait, good. Tap it there. Clean. Little tap. Line's pretty good. Room. Room if we're heavy. Clean. Yep. Small tap. Yep. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Okay, that's yeah. fine. And it is shot stone as BC continues to good. try pretty good. Yeah. to generate that deuce in the house. All right. On essaie de rouler quelque part ici. Même si on donne un petit bec, c'est pas grave. C'est bon. Ouais. On roule quoi, back cap? Ouais, dans ce coin-là. Let's go. Hit and roll. Good way! Easy! Whoa. Easy! Yep! Yep! Feel! Whoa! Feel! Yep! Whoa! Feel! Feel, 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 feel! Whoa! Whoa! Avoids the jam, little Shot. roll. And Quebec yeah. now. Three in the house. They're all behind the T line, though, so still options for Jim Cotter. Well, they are, and the problem for Quebec is yep. because of how those stones are set up, it's a bit of a wall. If Jim Carter freezes to the inside, pretty tough to remove it. Not a lot of room going to be back there. You know the path. Yeah. Yeah. Let's focus now over to Sheet C, PEI taking on Northern Ontario. And they lost in a devastating fashion last year in that gold medal game a beautiful draw from Pat Simmons in the Briar and Calgary but they are back with a vengeance this team from Northern Ontario 4-0 record and a chance here an open hit to go up 5-1 to one on Adam Casey and PEI we're not really watching this game closely but I'm looking at the numbers really quickly and PEI third David Mather struggling a little bit this morning in the 50s and so that may be why it's been a, a slow go this morning for PEI. And right in the nose for the Olympic gold medalist. So two on the board and a 5-1 lead as Northern Ontario looks to improve to 5-0 and oh this year's Briar in Ottawa. Line's pretty close. Still tapping. No bump. Getting better. So trying to corner freeze. Right here, all there, all there. Awesome. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ah. Shoot. Sorry, I just heavy. Ah. Jeez, pound heavy. Okay, bump. Boy. Hit it on the right side as we look at it, so it goes through the hole and roll to the other side. Pardon? Same way. Okay. You roll à gauche, probablement. What? Left as they look at it, the roll to the right as we were. A peu plus. Up. Un peu plus. Yep. Feel. Un peu up. Yep. Feel. Hard. Hard feel. Hard. Phil Menard trying to hold the line for his skip and his brother. Lovely. Through the hole. No jam. And now, once again, it's a draw against four for BC. Got 
Inch less than we had. Three. Three. That last one was mid 90s. So another good end for Jean Michel Menard. Forcing Jim Cotter. Done his job in terms of forcing. This is one of those games you really do feel like the first team that manages to score two. That could be all that is necessary to win this game. Just playing, no backing yet. Just for weight. Team. Lots back of room. Four. Lots I of need room. the other one. Oh, then. We're fine. Just clean, just clean. Line will be fine. Good boy, Jim. Good. This game would be a pretty good dating website, Kathy Goche, just a singles club. Oh right? Right? <laughs> possible to get the draw in there. This is the only shot I know is there for sure. I have to hit it a little onto this. And this might it. spin up. Oh, we got What's the degree of difficulty here, Dave? Well, this is very difficult. There's one thing to throw a run back, but another thing to hit it with extreme accuracy on the back rock. So here we go. This is it. Final stone in 10. Brad Gushu, oh, this is all he's got. Oh, Run back, try, bang the yellow, come close. back, red onto oh, yellow. Oh, 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 you kidding me? Yeah. What a shot! The impossible oh, becomes reality here in Calgary. That was epic. That is one of the best shots I've ever seen live. I remember Dave and I were in the booth going, he's not gonna make that, is he? No chance, right? Unreal stuff. Later on today, BC, Team Canada, TSN 1 and 4, and every match, TSN 3, Newfoundland, Labrador, Team Alberta, 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time. It was an incredible shot. Welcome back to our coverage here of our feature matchup. BC taking on Quebec, and we are still waiting for our first two on the board here. A 3-2 advantage for BC. You see the ones back and forth in this game. So once again, it is over to... Jean-Michel Menard, Team Quebec, they have the hammer here throwing the Yellowstones. Yep, yep, yep! Oh. Good weight, on a mass. On tap un petit peu, on tap uh, un pied. Good shot, Phil. Good shot. You like that? It's going around the whole thing any good? I don't really like that. What's that? I don't like the run. I just it, they're they're they're, gonna, they're playing for a blank, right? So. What do you like here? What if we hit half the yellow one, half the top yellow one? Yeah, we just try and just get to the nose of it, or what? Freeze? Yeah. Straight freeze? Straight freeze. Okay. It's funny to see three rocks in the house, one up Green front, three. and hear Tyrell say, well, they're playing for the blank, meaning that if Jean-Michel can even change the momentum, plays for a blank, and then has last rock and even ends, he's going to feel really more in control. Wait, and BC knows Game that if they wall. run the stones back, that Stop will it. help. Good. Needs a curl. Go back in their objective Curling and out. so really want to get some Mine's rocks in play. The risk, Mine's of course, good. with this is that you may give Small up tap. your two. Small tap. Heavy. But it is yep. very early in this end. Yep. Okay. That's fine. Thanks. These angles are not bad. 
On veut-tu les tasser, les angles? Ils sont pas méchants? OK! OK, on essaye de flopper. OK, on tasse à rouge. Uh, back eight. Back eight, Eric. This is really is about changing the angles of the stones. See right now, any play on that red stone with weight, you lose your shot stone. So if you change the angles, maybe it frees up those two yellows and they move to the right, and that allows you to play on the red. We just saw that incredible shot from Calgary, courtesy Brad Gushu to beat Alberta. Well, right now he's taking on Team New Brunswick. Brad has one and two counting on the back of the button, and this is a little easier than that shot we just showed you. And a chance to pick up three here on Team New Brunswick with his final stone, has to draw in and basically draw into what he sees there. You don't want to disrupt those yellows, Kathy, too much. Well, there isn't very much maneuverability, if you will, because there is a red stone belonging to Mike Kennedy that is biting the button but at the top of the house so it has to be very precise he has been one of the most consistent skips in his appearances at the briar his 13th appearance coming into this briar just once kathy was he ever below 500 and that was in saskatoon a five and six record always great in round robin play little kick in let us know mark nichols what has he got and just two and he currently leads all skips at the top of the board in terms of percentages, but that one, let get away with. Just didn't curl enough, but still a three-point advantage now after six as Newfoundland Labrador leads. So the run back by BC gets rid of one and more importantly rolls one of their own to block off that outturn side. Running on the outside of that red stone. Towards the yellow. Good way! Normal! Martin! Martin! Hard mark! I don't know, Brian. You said earlier no one was losing their voice. It sounds like Jean Michel is starting to lose his. Commission. Like, uh, like, rig. On the nose. Yeah. Regular. Regular. Yeah, regular weight. Solid rig. Slot. Slot. Got to go hard slot. Hard slot. Okay. Uh, okay. So opening things up now here for Team Quebec, and now possible opportunity here for a deuce and seven. Rappelez nez à droite. Lui en en nous enlevant, c'est quasiment sûr qu'il va nous donner un double. So so come around, t'aimes ça? Come around. Mais non, il va frapper un, deux, trois. Il reste pas tant de rush que ça. Là, on pose sang. Philippe propose de frapper sur le nez. Elle. Ben, Philippe likes quasiment the kit. C'est quasiment sûr qu'il va nous donner un double en enlevant la jaune. C'est quasiment sûr qu'il va nous donner un double en enlevant la jaune. Ouais. Ça a mal parti. Ouais, c'est sûr qu'il va frapper là. Ouais. Alors, on a cinq idées. On est peut-être dans le même panier. Ça revient au même, hein? Mais le blanc qui est bon. Ouais. Puis frapper la rouge puis rouler dans le corner. Well, the brothers are on different pages. Sounds about right in my family household growing up. <laughs> just, <laughs> very consistent. I'm just listening, and Martin is coming down. Cole's notes a version. Jean Michel was looking to draw to split the house to take two, but Philippe very much is thinking about shot selection for the blank. 
Ben, si on roule là puis il fait le double, on est mort. Ben, euh... on roulera pas down. Là. Pour vrai, on a trois pieds de jeu, on roule ici. Max. Mais il va avoir un double. Ah, pour aller là, Jim. Puis le nez? Ah, oh, il est double. OK, puis on blanque. Ouais, le nez, c'est pas méchant. Mais les deux nez sont pas méchants, moi, je trouve. On va-tu prendre deux, on veut blanquer? Ben là, on a, une, on a une belle chance de deux, à mon avis. Moi, moi je pense aussi, là. Les deux sont tellement rares qu'on va essayer d'en prendre quand il en passe. Ici? Tu sais, si on est là, on sera pas heureux, là. Ben non, il va taper le double, voilà, les trois. Il faut, faut être Il n'y a pas là. beaucoup de marge de manœuvre ouais, pour plus, faire une belle shot. Que Parce que ce qui est le fun en frappant, c'est qu'on garde le, le blank le de l'air. Le blank est... Ouais. OK. Tu nez? Bob? Yeah, sure. So he's been convinced, I think, um, very much that one of the things so from that far end they're really looking at the options of of playing a hit keeping the blank very much on the table the challenge with the the deuce or, or drawing for the two is it's a very tough yes. shot because the placement of it is key and you give your opponent a chance to maybe get out and then you're forced again so they're weighing the odds of going oh. hard for a two versus playing for a two but yes. keeping that door open Whoa. for a blank Whoa. yeah 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 Wow! Wow! Eric! Eric! So the aggressive conservative, so to speak. It's, uh, yeah, it's, we'd like to, but we're not going to go super hard for two because we may be forced. Control! So going back to your original game plan, Kathy, would you like to see Jean Michel maybe get aggressive in a situation like this finally, or do you like his style and you wait this out and ride it out to maybe. Final shot in 10 or 11. Well, Jean-Michel himself likes lots of rocks and play. And his immediate reaction, his gut reaction, if you will, when that last rock came to a stop, was to play the draw, to go hard for those points. But you have to have the support of your team and the comfort of your team who are throwing the rocks until you get to, to be on board. And they weren't necessarily sold that they should go very hard for the two. That's good. It's not bad. Wait. I think it's fine oh. up there. Yeah. And you really have to wonder when you think back to he's only scored 3.25 points at this year's Briar. How much of that is based on the force and how much of it is that feedback from the other end, the nervousness, if you will, by the rest of the team to go hard. But that's what Jean-Michel has done well. And in the years that he has won or played for bronze, he has scored those points. Phil! Phil! Eric! Qui? Phil! Hard Phil! Philippe! Phil! Un peu hard, Jim! Un peu hard! Un peu hard! Un peu Ok, not bad. So, some separation now from those Quebec stones. Très bien. Il a liné le race double, mais il est top. Good job. Race double, moi. That's the one. Ok. Like uh, good board, should yeah. move. We saw this one earlier. Yeah. The uh, board weight. Okay. Board weight. Hit. Should finish pretty hard. Yep. On the nose, Kathy, or a little roll? If you can get an inside roll, that's ideal. Hard, hard, hard. Solid board. What's up? Wants Lane. to be shot. Up. Lane. What? Rick, go, Rick. Go, Rick. Go. Hard. Rick trying to get a little more curl out of the stone with his brushing, and they'll bang it right there. It is shot stone. It's fine. It's a hair big. Hair solid, yeah. We're on real yeah. straight. That's a pretty good spot. 
Yeah. Ça aligne du sang, ce serait pas mauvais. Ah non, on va pouvoir faire ça en haut. Bon. Tu veux rouler où? Direct en arrière? Je suis capable, oui. Interesting choice of turns. Bumper, let's go. You think he knows the path here with this turn, Kathy, or just likes this turn? Loves the up turn. Way, you look at the oh. Quebec stats. No, slow. Very, very Feel. heavily weighted. I feel. Pretty good result with the out turn. You have to just get by that front stone. So did he leave the double? He did. It's pretty sharp. Uh, yes. Yeah. Good throw. Okay. Pretty thin. Pretty thin, yeah. A little less than a quarter. Yep. Definitely less than a quarter. Yeah. Oh, I think like it's a quite a bit less than yeah, a quarter. A than a you quarter. can see how sharp that is. Well, can we see our first deuce possibly of this game? Final stone here in seven for Jim oh. Goddard without hammer. Clean. Try to make a both yes. go away. Now a big scrub. Oh boom, boom. Jim Goddard right on the money. That is a very nice shot. That is a very thin double, and he sticks it buried. Thanks, for that. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Good call. Making it is one thing, but not moving out of that hidden area. Closes the scoring area down somewhat for Quebec. Needs full four. I think we've seen this movie before. We have. In this game, Kathy, from both skips. So final stone here in seven. Nice Another good. draw for a single. And nice needs a good one here, the 2006 champ. On est encore dans le droit. On est encore dans le droit. And time after time, the skips coming through with nice draw weight on the button once again. The singles continue here in Ottawa. And welcome back. Well, here between BC and Quebec, we're single here and ready to mingle. Single and two. <laughs> oh my goodness. One and three. One and four. You want to play longer, Kathy? Uh, well, there's a one and a zero and more ones. And I go back to the discussion that happened with Team Quebec. And Jean-Michel is making an effort. He wanted to go aggressive and did not have the support of his team who keeps thinking about the potential blank. And what if we're forced? Well, you've been forced. And so sometimes when yeah. you have Hammer, you have to go hard. So now Hammer over to BC. Jim Cotter throwing the red stones will have the final rock in a 3-3 tie here on this Tuesday morning in Ottawa. It's pretty large. Good way. It's like grind down mass, Mark. No, good point. Si un bon sort, c'est Martin. Oui. Elle commence à faire son mot. Elle met la sa ligne qui s'en va. Oui, go, 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 elle ralentit. Elle go. ralentit. Go, 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 ralentit. Chat. Chat, Phil, deux bêtes. Uh, Quebec with a double guard playing as though this were the last end, really wanting to ensure that if there's going to be a two, if Jim Potter's going to score it now, they'll have the advantage. 
with Hammer. Would really love to force yet again or steal, more importantly, and that's what this end is being set up by Quebec to do. Line's perfect. Higher the better. Higher the better. So that's actually inside of the eight foot, Kathy. I would say that, at least from the games that we've been watching closely, the least amount of curl that I've seen so far this week. Is that consistent, though, from what you've seen? You know, a little bit. I think that it is dramatically different from last night, for sure. I'm just trying to remember back to Sunday morning if we saw similar. It is definitely not curling as much as we have seen ice curl this Shot. year, for sure. Shot. A little bit straighter, but it has been straighter for much, much of this prior. It's like T line. Okay, hey, stay close. Tapping. Line only. Whoa, whoa, Teddy. Whoa, whoa. Back 12. Swat. 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 Go swat. Hard swat. Hard, it's good now. Hard, hard, hard. Hard swat. Well, this stone tap taps. The rocks good. in the four. Update time. PEI taking on Northern Ontario. Brad Jacobs in control of this game. Up by four. And there is Adam Casey. His final one to come. And he's got a... Tough throw here, facing three. No, there aren't any guards, though. That's the good yeah. news for Adam. He needs to get to the nose and ensure he sticks around. Trying to keep his hopes alive in that game, and he will run it back for a single. So in nine, up by three, it'll be Brad Jacobs with Hammer. Put switch behind. Mark, Mark. No. Come on, Come on. Come on. Good shot. It's a good shot because the angles have changed very much. That's why Jim Cotter now looking to run the front. Let's go this way here. Yeah. Inturn. The out turn, though. Yeah, let's go out turn across the face. Okay. They swat hard on the shooter. trying to hard over. Hard over. get the yellows going and gets Here. the one off the forefoot as well just taps it back as well that's good change the angles good shot. for bc nicely opens up the front those are tough when those stones are lined up like that but he unlocks the back stone as well so that's the bonus Why is adding it? Continue. Why? Whoa! I'm ass! Paul. Peut-être le père du milieu, Phil. C'est là! C'est là! C'est là, Phil! Over now! Over now! Over now! Over now! Whoa! 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 Like that's a he didn't throw a very good guard there. Good, good capital for too. I don't think I really like that too much. You wanna talk about it? Wait. Right on the nose. Yo. 
Right on the nose? Yeah. I think the reason Jim doesn't like playing that tap, the yellow red, is essentially you remove your shot stone, you tap it back, but now your opponent can guard, and now they're guarding their own stone that is shot. Swat! So Jim trying to make things happen by getting Hard rid of the wreck. front as well. Hard wreck. Okay, good. Guard. Cool, Mark. Same weight. Same Wait. weight. Oh, put out. Nine's good. Whoa! Nine's good, Phil. Un petit peu moins go! Non, non, pas Eric! Pas Eric! Phil premier! Phil! Go, Phil! No! Go, Phil! Just no! Whoa, we're good! Whoa! Go, go! Yeah, okay, so hold up. Okay, come on. Shot. Good sweep. Good sweep. Good sweep. Bad four, more under second. Yeah, who's thinking? Okay. I don't mind that. You like that? Yeah. Ford? Yeah. Even Hack. Yeah, I like Hack. Hack's wait. good. Well, uh, change of plans. Wait. That guard is so long. And so for BC, we'll hit and roll under with this one. And then all of a sudden, Quebec has to start to worry about, you know, we're going to force so much to the point that we force them to take two. Nice hack. Clean. Brian Kuhn here Close in eight. Hack. Whoa. Whoa. Close. Close. Yeah. Clean. Whoa. Tie. 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 Hard tie. Hard tie. Hard tie. Tie now for the curl. Hard. Avoid the jam. Shot. Roll it yeah. in. Very nice. And they lie too. Good shot. Good sweep. Great win. Well, they've created singles, and both have made really good shots to the pin to limit the damage and pick up their ones when they've had to, Kathy. And when they have had opportunities to put pressure on the other team, it has been the draw weight that has let them down. Sliding a little bit deep, Jean-Michel Michel once had the chance to lie too, was not able to. That's been the biggest difference, but the edge right now, even though it's not in that plus category yet, is Jean-Michel Manal. Player Comparisons brought to you by Travelers. It's better under the umbrella. Je vais essayer de lancer T-Line seul. Bon, on va vous faire travailler avec la brosse. T-Line, c'est 9-3-4. Dans cette patte-là, elle va-tu rentrer vite au centre? Playing the tap. Moi, si tu veux être sûr, T-Line, j'irai demi. Ouais, demi, trois quarts. OK. He has had some great draw weight today. Put it right on the button. But he's also been heavy. Plus que ti! Plus que ti! Okay, push! Close! Easy! Go. Eric! Feel! Eric! Whoa! Feel! Hard feel on! Hard feel on! Hard feel on! Trying to hold the angle, tap the red back. Ooh, and Good who shot. is shot stone? I think maybe Quebec. I think yellow. I think Quebec that tap. Gosh, that's hard. Good shot. Nice. Good shot. Yeah. Wow. And more importantly, rock position. Hmm. From that angle, it almost looks like that one in. Oh, Take a time. 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 Yeah. BC calls timeout, so Pat Ryan will come out. You heard Jim say they are shot, so it is Quebec. Do we run that red Ryan, one in? Ryan, a three time Briar That's champion, two time world see. champion. The problem, Rock, is uh, is this this one here. Get that one off, and kill one of those, leave it there. Then he just draws right on top of it again. Oh, 
Clear shot. I think we got to run that red one in. Yeah, you might get a drag. That that eight might go. Yeah, I agree. I mean, if yeah, if he could ever hit this, kill that, it's gonna drag this. Yeah, if we catch it a little on the top end, high side. Might. Be nice to stick it right yeah. there. Run it and stick it right there. At least it opens up both draws. So the eight rock that they're talking about is the yellow stone in front of the one that is shot, or it is the shot stone. Wondering if the eight will go, that is tough. So running this stone back into this mix, this one goes, there's no doubt about that, but this one's gonna go back. Hey they're hoping oh, that they quarters. hit it thin yeah. enough that it might go across the top and stay out in the eight foot. But it is not only a tough based on how those stones are set up, but how far away that red stone is that you are running back. Jim Cotter is yep. first here in eight. Oh, and he's gonna oh, run this cross country. Hard. Bang it back and he'll miss everything. Okay. Yeah. Have you slap him? Si on envoyait elle dans dans le. Cause there's a con yezur de me dans le port pick. Yeah, I thought you were good. Non mais elle elle ils vont nous dire. C'était capable de pousser celle-là. Là, il va l'enlever comment? Okay, time out. So Quebec now takes a timeout and it will be Pierre Charette. Il a plus de draw. Non, la seule shot qui encore, c'est la même carabine pour essayer de se drag tout. Non, puis il arrête, il fait ça, il se fait voler deux. Il a fait il faire ça là. Il reste le coin de pin, c'est tout ce qui reste, le coin de bouton. Moi, moi, je voudrais du stab freeze. Même shot. Le même même shot tu viens de jouer, tu l'envoies là, qu'est-ce que tu fais? C'est sûr, sûr de voler un, c'est crucial de voler un au 8. Là. Parce que sinon, tu laisses la même shot. Quoi, quoi d'autre tu veux faire? Ben, c'est ça. Moi, je pensais. Euh... Moi, je pense qu'il va avoir le droit là, right? Ben non, pas si on tape. Oh, si tape, tape pas, pas si on tape, non. Mais ouais. si on tape, il y a de service. Moi, je pense pas que tu peux pas voler. Parce qu'ici, ça, là, c'est un potentiel de 2, là. Right? Yeah. Il dépend du drag comme extra. Il dépend du drag, ça a ouais. 8. Il dépend du drag, il peut faire scorer peut-être ces deux. La OK, il a la même shot? Je pense à la même chose. Moi, j'aime oh. ça. Si tu te laisses en coin dessus, qu'est-ce que tu veux qu'il fasse? Ouais, mais même ça, même si je suis large un peu, déjà, j'attends là. Faut, faut le nez. A good time out by Pierre had a very yeah. clear opinion yeah. that the tap tap was the shot. So tapping the stone, the six onto the eight, even though they are shot, it changes the angles, makes it tougher for Jim Cotter to remove without going on to his own at the back. Same weight. Même balai, ça! Même balai! La terre est plus haute, là! Oh, ouais, moi, a... toi, un peu moins, on a. Mais pas assez pour moi. Tête est clinée, là. Go, Jim. 9, 3, 4, c'est assez, c'est bon. Yep! Pile! Jean-Michel Menard, his final stone here in Eats. And here comes the tap, tap, find the pocket, and that is shot stone right in the crotch. And no pinhole available. Pretty good shot. That one is firmly locked in place.
this is just throwing the stone away and conceding the one. So Jim Cotter takes his medicine here. And a nice end from Jean-Michel Menard and his team. In a close game, they are up by one after eight. Uh. It is time to get you up to date here at TD Place. Manitoba taking on the Northwest Territories and Jamie Cooey. And one stone still to come. And this one from Mike McEwen. See, Mike's decision is to draw that biter at the back. That's the one that's causing the grief. Very, very sharp double for the blank. And it's just not worth the risk to the team from Manitoba. So electing to draw and be sure of the point. Such a great play player and a former number one in the world for many years. Mike McEwen, the draw for the single in his first ever Briar appearance as a 4-3 advantage after nine. One undefeated team still left, and that is Brad Jacobs, Northern Ontario. The Yellowstones taking on PEI and Adam Casey. And final stone here on the way from Jacobs. And they are looking so, so good. I think the rest of the field was hoping that they would have come in as the front runner because they are angry <laughs> and effective. They have that passion and adrenaline back, and we've seen it here in Ottawa. Another win. So 6-2 as Northern Ontario picks up another W and some fist pumps all around. Let's get you up to date now. Northern Ontario now 5-0, still on top. Alberta 4-1. Brad Gushu 3-1. Team Canada 3-2. Ontario 3-2. And, and BC in our feature game at 500. Quebec at 1-3. So one of those teams will pick up another win here. It does speak volumes when you look at that board, how tightly clumped it is about why this is so important. For Jean-Michel Menard to stay up there with the contenders and for Jim Cotter not to fall back. You really want to stay on the left-hand side of those standings as we get closer to the weekend. And our feature matchup this morning, BC Quebec. It's been all single so far, but a steal for Team Quebec and Jean-Michel Menard in that last end. So he leads by one. We'll see if Jim Goddard and his team from the Vernon and Kelowna Curling Clubs can answer back here with the first deuce of the game, throwing the Red Rocks. right under just that third of it may be buried three here ty by that Yellowstone. That rock just started to carve. I didn't see this one coming. <laughs> it sure did. Look at the curl, Kathy. It's unreal from that Yellowstone just carved right in. You know, and that's a couple of times his stone as it has, uh, the weight has come off. It's really finished hard. Watch this go. This is not how the other rocks typically move. So he may have a stone that Certainly curls more than others, something that you can certainly use to your advantage. A Jim Cutter, perhaps? A Jim Cutter. Go, 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 Mark. Go, 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 go,
Strike. I got a good board. Yep. Try to run their own stone in. Solid board. Clean. Yep. Whoa. Clean. Yep. Whoa. 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 Swat. Yep. Swat. Whoa. Whoa. whoa roll whoa. it. Roll it. Tap, tap. Yellows Good. get going. Nice. And look at that now. That was looking a little better for BC here with Hammer and Nine. And it wasn't super clear on shot. who was shot, but now there is no doubt. Il va, il va revenir droit au centre. Là, il est trois avec le centre garde. Deux joueurs. Run back. Hey, je suis un peu off. Let's go, Mark. Let's go. Pretty hard for Jean-Michel right beside the stands are full of some of the school students who are very vocal and really enjoying their experience at the briar but to yell back and forth up and down the sheet oh, yes! makes it just that much more difficult yes! to hear yes! Yes! wow red's moving we'll stick around with his shooter and leave the pair out in the wings and so for jim cotter here with hammer oh, yeah. Those red stones building up is a good sign. Just catches it that little bit too thick, and so it does not oh, roll out. Yeah. Roll. Clean. Swat. Got a curl. Swat. Hard swat. Hard Gotta go. swat. Hard. Gotta go hard. He's got to hang on to their shooter here. And they'll roll it back towards the four. And we're hoping to stay out in the wings to not allow Quebec to roll under. It's not bad. Just by the guard again. Oh no. Eric Silvat, he gets oh. into his sweeping, doesn't he? No. Well, the oh no you heard was from Jean Michel. Just that down weight. Boy, those red are starting to add up. That last rock advantage with BC. Like four or even like hack. Good hack? I like good hack, yeah. You like good hack? Sure. Good hack. And this is not at all about rolling under that center guard. That's something that Jean-Michel could come down and freeze to. And there goes your entire end. So wanting to roll towards those other red stones. It's real nice. Clean. Bump. And what an opportunity Solid. here. A yes. chance to live four Hard with side. Hammer here in Hard nine. Side. Side. Ryan Cooley can come through here. Hard. 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 Just by the guard, and they do roll it under center, so it is four right now for BC, anyways. That looks like I a wonderful off. shot. Oh. Can't oh. believe he's not Ooh. sleeping no. that. Just got bit by, but oh. here is your That's get out of jail free card for Jean Michel Menal. I think Jim was yelling hard. I think they thought he said off. Well, they, they and there stopped, was that one sure. little mistake there. Mine's good. Good wait. Mine's good. 
Il y a encore de la place! Ça en vient! Il y a de la place! Line's good! Line's good! Line's good! Easy! Faut que ça Easy! Faut que ça curve! Just the wait! Whoa, no, whoa. no! 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 No, Eric! Right off! No, Eric! Right off! Right off! No, right off! Eric! Il perd du milieu! No! 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 Could just go top four, leave half. Run it. Only thing is, probably going on to that one. What if we go top four, half half open here? Like here? Yeah, like half open. Yeah. I don't mind that. Then even if he comes in, he comes in a tap, so we get a little slash. I'm even thinking even a hair higher. higher. Like right here. Because if he goes here, hit a quarter and they both go. Right. Right, right? there. We want to probably be right here. Okay. Well. Then he's gonna come in and move that. He might move this, right? That's fine. And then Half we a rock, can we kill him both. Okay. Gonna try and get him low. You like that swat? Top eight. Top eight. I think eight. we just play the probably, Yeah. We peel it or run it. We, you know. Now Tyrell walked again, you so. through the strategy there. His Just thoughts. Top, four? top eight. You might guard it. Sorry, where do you want it? Top eight. Top eight, like half open, right? Yeah. The other option, the Side one that Jim still? was leaning yep. towards Just in the far. beginning, was the run Just straight far. back to pick that stone out. That yellow that you would run back likely would wind up in the area of those two red stones where the broom is. But Three. you will have removed yep. that stone from the forefoot. Lots of room. Rolling. All there right now. Rolling. Right I think we're all there. Lots of room. Wait Whoa, a little. Then. Line's good. Easy, easy. Not deep. We gotta wait. We gotta wait. Can't be deep, Ready. guys. Get Tars. better. Tars. Whoa. Oh, right off. Sit. 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 It's not bad. And it just pretty good, Jim. slides in there. It's now BC line two. We two? That might be even better. That might be better. <laughs> yeah, if you could actually draw that We're out. We're sitting too. That's pretty good. I think so. No, I thought if that jump came out, it No. I quit it and roll. That's what should I guess if you are me. You snow boy. Time out. Oh, et raise draw là. Et on la pousse juste euh, Time out. Ouais, so Quebec takes nine. their final time out and Dave Collier. Mr. Charette will come non. out again. Il est pour voir. Il est arrêté. Il est temps. Time out. Il est arrêté. Viens ici. En deux. On va y aller là, il y a les ten rolls là. Si on vient out, out, out turn, out turn, là, tu viens de t'installer en T2. Et en plus, tu pousses celle-là, deuxième shot. Bon, c'est ça, si je fais la même shot que je viens de faire là, c'est elle-là, on tombe deuxième. Fair enough. C'est tout mal mieux qu'on peut faire. Si on donne deux sur le bleu, c'est bon. Si tu hit ce one. This goes, but think about that for a second. If that stone is not there, what stops BC from getting rid of that? Tout dépendant comment on tape la deux. On s'en vient de même, puis on monte elle de 6 pouces. Pour être deuxième. Pour être deuxième, c'est juste pour la fusée dedans. Juste qu'il y a de la même shot qu'on vient de jouer. Et lui, si on flop en dedans, tant mieux. Ouais. Ouais, ça, il bloque le... Ouais, il va faire deux avec ça. Ouais. Je pense qu'il n'y a rien d'autre, sinon c'est... Non. Sinon, c'est des shots qui offrent. Tu peux pas frapper parce que si tu frappes, tu enlèves ta 2 qui sauve ta 6. C'est ça. Ouais. C'est le temps où il est freeze, puis... Vous allez penser notre shooter, faut il faut qu'il soit en dedans un peu. Ouais, je pense que le shooter, faut qu'il aille vers la ligne. Je fais un drop comme ça, je vous tombe. Je fais ça, oui. puis je t'appelle. Oui. Le même drop qu'on vient de jouer, on n'est même pas passé proche du guard. Donc, tu fais un peu de balai. So you come down and you tap that yellow stone marginally and try to get second shot. But they have agreed there's no merit in hitting that red stone on the outside to reduce to one, because reducing to one gives the opportunity for four. Four BC. So this is trying to minimize the damage. If you get second shot, that is 
a pretty Good. great shot. And Same if not, you may ball. only you may hold them to two. And that's not fatal either. Yeah, that's good. Whoa. Nice yes. Hit. Johnny Bean. Hard. Stay away. Whoa. Whoa. Gotta go Still for one. Hard. Hard. Big scrub here for Jean Michel Menard Stone. Hard. Need a little more weight. Gotta move their yellow enough. And I don't think so. I do not think so. Uh, right there, yeah. Eh? Yeah. Same weight. I think we need out here. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Meantime, it's handshakes yeah. between New Brunswick and Newfoundland Labrador. Not very good. Not very good. 7 4, your final score. Than you took before? Yeah, much more. Yeah, I think you need plenty. You got the whole side of the four foot to draw. Yeah. So chance for three needs to get I would think more almost a bite it, of guys. that black yeah. ring that circles the button. Sweep for T-line. Yeah. Gushu improving to four and one weight, at this year's yeah. Briar as yeah. New Brunswick and Mike Kennedy falls to one and four. So already two in his back pocket. Final stone here for Jim Connor. And a chance for three. Real tough draw here, though. Let it work. Watch me close. Swat. Swat. Where are we? Getting better. Just swat. Just swat. We're there. We're there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, Jimmy. Ah. Okay. And it just won't finish enough. But it is the first two of the game as Martin Trent will have a closer look, and yeah, two it is. The first deuce comes in nine. British Columbia leads 5-4. Quebec will have Hammer coming home in 10. The 2016 Tim Hortons Briar is brought to you by Tim Hortons, official coffee of Curling Canada. The 2016 Tim Hortons Briar is brought to you by Home Hardware. Homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice. By Scotty's Sponge Towels, Purex, and Cashmere. Proud to support the Scotty's Tournament of Hearts. And by World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. Here's a look at your updated standings and two big wins today. One this morning for Northern Ontario, improving to 5-0. And Brad Gushu, Newfoundland Labrador, also victorious. So they're at 4-1. Joining Alberta also at 4-1. Team Canada 3-2, Ontario 3-2. And, and really, you want to try stay on that left side of the standings. And that includes this gentleman here, Mike McEwen, Team Manitoba, taking on Jamie Cooey, Northwest Territories. And Mike doing a good job here. In the 10th end, the pressure is on, but final stone to come. And this draw to force an extra end. Looking for the four foot is Jamie. Oh. I'm good, yeah. Jamie Cooey and his team coming through the pre competition. And I'll tell you what, yesterday took Alberta to an extra end. His brother trying to do the same here to another really good team. And Mike McEwen, Team Manitoba, and it is good. Nice draw weight, so they'll go one more. McEwen will have Hammer in 11, all tied up at four. And after a whole bunch of singles, the first two on the board in our future matchup there in nine between British Columbia and Heel. Quebec. So down by one, coming home with Hammer throwing the yellow stones is Jean-Michel Menard. Well, they did get one corner guard up. They elected to come in yep. on their second stone. Clean, clean. And so for Jim Cotter, just needs to remove one corner, and then there is nothing for Good Quebec throw. to hide behind. Oh, no. Okay, that's well, fine. That's not a good result. Now there's things to come to behind that T-line. 
good. Well, the peel was good, but in moving it back, he helped a little bit Quebec by moving both of those stones behind the T line, things that Quebec can use. Oh, you're loud, 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 loud. Walk that girl! Well, it's good, Jim. Dis nous quand curl. Ah, curl. Ah, come on, sir. It's up to you. Hey, pas besoin de toi. Walk that girl! It's la haute. Oh, on est pas loin. Okay. Time for the game story, Kathy Gauthier, and it's been a really good one. Both skips having to make some clutch draws, and we just talked about it. Just one, two on the board, and that was in nine. It really has been the difference. We just have not seen a really strong hammer efficiency. We did see that two by BC, but they countered that with that one steal in eight, and that's why we have such a flat game. And the team numbers, very even as well. Edge to Quebec, and they will need that edge if they're going to score two here in ten. The Game Story is brought to you by Tim Hortons, official coffee of Curtin Canada. Tries to clean things up once again. Yellow jams yellow and then right through the uprights. They were hoping to catch one of those reds. Real close. And he left a corner guard. On a déjà un corner guard, Jim. On a pas besoin de quatre gardes. Just un c'est assez. Okay. Two choices. He was going to throw another guard. They've convinced him to utilize it now. Go ahead. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. 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 Let's T-line, t'as vu? Et plus qu'il t'as vu, exactement. Juste fil, juste si. Hart! La ligne est belle. Elle n'a pas besoin de grand-chose. La ligne est belle. Donne-nous pas le double, donne-nous pas le double. Good. Eh bien. Good. 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 Could go here. Freeze Got the slash onto that Solid. one. Freeze any good? Kind of what I was thinking. Like I'm that? Mind the freeze. Is right that any now. good? Yeah. I think the freeze. Yeah. What do you think for weight here? Five to ten. The concern with trying to remove it is that you roll to the center behind the T line, and then that wall is right there. And one good shot by Quebec leads to two. And so to negate. That stone just buried by Etic. They're asking Ryan to corner freeze onto it. Tapping right now. Mine's good. Tapping. Okay, close. Hard tight. Line Owen. Whoa. 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 Swat. Off. The no line. Oh, I gotta go hard swat. Clean, clean. Tight, clean. Shot. Good. good. Real good spot. Just freeze, man. Parce que là, ton double est mort avec la la jaune qui a poussé. Just freeze. On peut la taper, ouais. Oui, moi j'aime ça. Moi j'aime ça. On garde tout en jeu. Hack. Backline, peut-être. Ouais. T'aimerais mieux backline. Backline. Le fécard est backline. Just a reminder that Quebec has taken both of their timeouts. And so it will be the four men on the ice that will determine what the shots will be. Some very good numbers from Martin again this morning. Yep. Easy. Whoa. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Good way. Good way. Yep. Hard line. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Eric Sylvain trying to hold that line for Martin Kretz. Little rub into the house. Okay. And now Quebec with two there. Top twelve. 
Ok. Et tu. Euh... Il doit être passé. Bah, il était back là. Hein. Yeah. We got third. Ok. Opportunity for Jim Cotter to get both of those yellows out. Gotta go, Ty. Gotta go, Ty. Gotta go, Ty. Hard! So after that, BC still lying two. Sweet. T'aimes pas la pousser pour rentrer nos deux en jeu? Tout ce qu'on en parle, on a le temps, Mess. On a le temps, hein? On a le temps, Mess. Martin, obviously, is not comfortable with this. I'm with you. I'm freezing. I'm just bouncing. We don't have anything to do with this rush. Do you want to push it to enter our two top 12 in the game? It's the same shot that I just played, right? If we push it to her and her, she becomes good. At some point, it becomes... You can do a double-tough and roll out. Yeah. There's time on the clock left. I'm going to have a decent to make it. No timeouts for Quebec. Okay. Ouais, puis si tu roules dehors, c'est tel qu'elle est tel, right? Ouais, t'as encore deux pierres bien placées. Une gosse de plus de weight que je viens de jouer. Ben écoute, moi je pense la dernière, ils ont brossé tout le long. Si elle broche pas d'un bord à l'autre, t'arrives ici, là. Fait que même glace, puis un gosse de plus de weight. Je pense qu'on met le point. qu'elle arrive, mettons... So, both of them on the same page about playing to the wing. The initial call by Jean-Michel was just a corner freeze onto the stone. And that's how you generate your deuce. But for Martin from the hack, what he his preference is to throw a little bit more weight and to tap that redstone through the two yellows. Still looking to bring those two yellows as counters into play if they need to. Good weight. Whoa. Back line. Whoa. 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 Yeah. Hit and roll, move it back, and Quebec shot still on back button. That's a shot that he wanted to play and spoke with pretty solid confidence about the benefits of doing this lovely weight. He knows. Yeah, like the throw. No, it's not horrible. I think it jams if they do that. Yeah. Rule to there. Yeah. Rule weight. I like it, Jim. Board? How's that ice look? It's pretty good. Fine. Yeah, it looks good. It's perfect. Down to skip stones. Here in 10. Nice ball Just board. A little quiet of failing. Yep. Close. Just yep. hard. Hard, hard, swat. hard swat. Hard swat. Hard. Oh. Oh. Hard. Hard swat. Oh. Hard. Hard swat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Roll it. A little bit tight. Yep. Connor yep. makes yeah. yellow go. Hard. Little hard, roll. Hard. Pretty flat now. Good and shot, BC dog. lies shot, two man. without hammer here in 10. Sweet, guys. Good shot. And one other game still on the ice, and it's going to an extra end. There you see it. In the 11th, Manitoba, Northwest Territories, all tied up at four. And there's just that one yellow stone, little biter there. So Mike McHugh in Manitoba has to just find the paint, basically. Full 12 foot will do it, and he'll improve to three and two. All good. All good. All good. Full credit, though, to Jamie Cooey. He took Alberta yesterday to that extra end. 
And does the same here with Manitoba. Trying to give Papa Fred a happy birthday gift today, but not to be as Mike McEwen comes through. A nice draw weight, so that'll be handshakes there. And Manitoba. Hoping to get in a roll here in Mike McEwen's first ever Briar appearance. Another W. Well, and they've elected to play the corner freeze, come down on top of that stone in the wings. Let's go. Line's good. Line's good. Line's good. T line, boys. Allez, est parfait. Freeze last to see. Check. Hard. Check. Down. Just the way. Down. Hard, Rick. Punny. Hard, Rick. Down that, Rick. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Big scrub. Try to lock it on there. Good shot. Good Little shot. Little bump in there. Second stone. Not bad. Faut que ça soit un move. One. Time. Time. NBC takes their final time out. Much? I think of the out turn at that. He got it all. All in an inch. I'm thinking the out turn. You just need to get that one yellow. You just need to keep your shooter right there, really, right? And get that one yellow to spring. If you hit on the nose, you're good, in my, in my eyes. I think we gotta throw the air turn. Yeah, if we draw there, he just has the... I think we gotta hit it. Nose. We have to hit it. I think you I throw the out turn. You could even go in front of your own, but he's gotta double off his the yellow. Turn right here. <clears throat> okay? Yeah. Whatever, right either nose. turn, whatever turn you like, Jimmy. Nose right on the nose. Right on the beak. Yeah. Well, Jim really likes the out turn. That's been very evident of what he wants to play and that's the side that you want to hit it on. And you can see it is all available plus a little bit on that side. So knows here, Kathy, he should be lying three red when this all comes to... In theory, you bet. ...to the end here. Or at least two. Whoa. Tight, tight. Hard, tight. Clean. Whoa. Yeah! Whoa. Jim Cotter's final stone in ten. Shots. Bang him up. Yellows go. Beauty, Jimmy. And BC lies three with Shots. one still remaining from Thanks. Team Good Quebec. Job. And it'll be a draw to force the extra. Or you can play the triple for two. I think you might miss the back one. It's pretty thin. Think about how sharp you have to hit that top two. Not sure that you'll catch that one in the back of the eight foot on the way by. So they're playing the triple cast? Yeah. yeah. And I think that for Jean-Michel, he's looked at the board, he sees what happens, the ones going up and down, doesn't want to have to find a way to steal, even though he has in this game. Easy. Here we go. Not sure if he can oh. catch that back red, though. Oh. Back oh. eight, we'll find out yeah. right here, though. Maybe he can. Final stone. The triple for the win. Catch the back red. He yeah. does. Get him to go. Wow. wow. Sean Michel Menard. He is clutch from Quebec. Fabulous shot. I was not sure he could catch that triple. No doubt in his mind. JM comes through. Good job. Good job, buddy. So that back red, Kathy, that one right there. Yes. We didn't know if he could get it. Fantastic shot. He kept us waiting all game long.
And then finally, when it matters most, yes. Two on the board and a win for Team Quebec. Well earned. 6-5, your final score of some last shot dramatics here in Ottawa. Well done, JM. So, your updated standings. Northern Ontario still perfect at 5-0. Brad Dushu, a winner this morning. He improves to 4-1 along with Team Alberta. Big win for Manitoba as well as they get to that left side of the standings. 3-2 along with Ontario. And the hits just keep on coming on TSN. Two great matchups coming up on TSN 1 and 4, BC, Team Canada, and on TSN 3, a pair of 4 and 1 teams, Newfoundland Labrador taking on Team Alberta. You can watch it all today, 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Multiple sheet coverage here on TSN once again out of Tim Hortons Briar. What a dramatic finish here at TD Place this morning. Jean-Michel Menard comes through with a big time shot to keep Quebec's playoff hopes alive. On behalf of myself, Kathy Goche, our entire crew, thanks for watching the drama here on TSN. It is the Tim Hortons Briar.